everybody, it's time to get this box build underway. I'm wicked excited, this is my first fourth order build, so as you can imagine, I just wanna get this thing ready. I gotta do a little bit more number crunching, but I think I finally got it here, so I got it all printed off in the, on the display on my phone. We got the measurements ready to go, so let's get to cutting here. We're gonna get a good old table saw rocking here in just a moment, oh yeah. Alright guys, sawdust was a flying and we got all of our pieces cut for the fourth order. We got the first baffle, the second baffle, the front and the back, we got the two sides, and of course the top and bottom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get everything kind of like plotted out, see what it looks like, and then get going with our glue. And I'm going to pre-drill my holes for some screws, and uh, I always like to screw my boxes together, so I'm always making sure everything's nice and secure. Alright guys, just mucking things up a little bit. Obviously that's going to be a double baffle, but I just want to piece it together a little bit, but the side pieces keep falling off. Alright, now that we have everything plotted out, we can go ahead and make an access point for the subwoofers. Being that this is a fourth order enclosure, we're not going to have access to them, so we're going to make a little 20 by 10 window here that's going to be mounted on with T-nuts. So let's go ahead and get that underway. Let's go ahead and uh, draw out the perfect center of this. What I'm going to do is, is uh, this is 35 inches across. So the internal measurement was 33.5. I'm just going to go ahead and subtract 20 from that and divide by 2. And that will give us uh, how far we have to go over. Okay, we got it all measured out. So now let's get the jigsaw and get to cutting this guy. All right guys, the access window is now cut. Looking pretty good. Now we'll be able to take our subwoofers in and out if anything happens. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish these edges with this router. We got the bit all installed, so let's go ahead and crank. Things are looking good, coming together. And I went ahead and did this little part. This is gonna be what secures the box and makes it a nice little, uh, makes it a nice seal. That's what's gonna go on there. I'll line it up for you so you can see it. That's what we're working with right there. Looks pretty damn nice. So uh, this is what we're working with so far. I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the side pieces down and uh, drilling it together. I'm just gonna put the tripod down and get busy. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna quit talking and just get down and get down and listen to some music and get this project done.
friggin' difficult. I did see that bad bitch in there all by myself. Oh yeah, looking pretty damn good, guys. Courts over there, we're gonna get this thing jamming for the Sunday show. I am so excited, guys. I'm gonna be painting it white, but I'm gonna make sure, I just wanna make sure it fits, but this is gonna wrap up the box build video. We're gonna have it all looking neat in the end, but uh, I wanna make that show for Sunday, guys. This was uh, down to the last second here. It's gonna look a hell of a lot better. I don't wanna get any crazy comments about that, because I'm not even finished yet. How oh. This thing flexes like crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put some sound editor on the trunk, but yeah, it keeps taking the USB out, but damn guys, I've had some good time just cranking some tunes in this thing today. Here with my lady, you're gonna go get some food. It's freaking hot as hell. We're gonna go to Goodwill and get a shirt, see what they have over there. But uh, yeah, this is EXO signing out, freaking basing it up. It's been so long since I've had like a nice little decent system ported. But uh, yeah, the band pass is great. The bandwidth is exceptional. I'm loving every single high note, low note. It all comes through really clear. See you guys on the next video. Eek so.